why Alibaba stock price continuously declines. According to the latest financial report, the net profit grew 4% young year. That's not reasonable. If that puzzled you as well, please follow my video and get a clear understanding about what's going on with Alibaba. Today, I would like to analyze the whole confused phenomenon about Alibaba, including the valuation of it and the spin off sequence, etc. I am a stock analyst based in China and I'm also trading stocks. My goal is giving the investors a different view to look at Chinese concept stocks. If you don't want to miss the quality stock analysis video, don't forget to follow my channel. Foreseeable reasons why stock price decline. It is undeniable that there are many concerns about China's slow recovery of consumption. A series of recent economic data have shown that China's domestic economic data has fallen short of expectation in a week of the outbreak. The second one is many investors are concerned about the uncertainty that new changes will bring to Alibaba. As Ali highlighted in its earning report, the completion of each of these transactions depends on a variety of factors, many of which are beyond its control, including the successful restructuring of assets, uh, liabilities and contracts, equity incentive plans, market conditions and regulatory approvals. It's clear that despite strong determination, clear strategic direction, and decisive execution, Ali's road to Spain off is still full of variables. The third reason the market share of the main business is suffering from unprecedented competition and challenges, and there is a lot of uncertainty about how the other spun off companies will develop and the general market environment they face. And it is hard to say how much they will contribute to Alibaba. For the above three main reasons, we see that the stock price has expressed its attitude already. But let's be objective here. Based on the sum of the parts valuation method, the market does not conclude many segment business into overall business, which are not accounting for Ali's current proper market capitalization. This is partly due to the fact that the sub-businesses are not fully disclosed in earnings report. Thus, capital markets do not have a full understanding of the value of their respective businesses. When business lines such as Ali Cloud and Cainiao go public independently, there will be more comprehensive and in-depth disclosures for the outside world. And when investors have enough information, the valuation of each independent business will obviously become more fair. Specifically, the valuation of Ali China's commercial segment alone, which have maintained profits of more than 160 billion yuan in recent years, should be valued at 228 billion dollar, which is more than Ali's current market value, 223 billion. Assuming a very low price to earning ratio of 10 times for the platform e-commerce industry. Meanwhile, Wall Street analyst Stephen Frampton similarly pointed out that the current early valuation means that many business units are being ignored. The market's valuation of Ali's international digital commands, Cainiao and Hema, as well as uh, discussions of potential IPO. All of these factors suggest that most of Ali's business units are not worthless. If these business valuations are factored into the overall business valuation, the resulting company value is almost three times of the current price. That means Ali still have a lot of room for valuation repair. If a company's value creation is the engine of its market value performance, then Ali certainly has a huge engine with a lot of horsepower. But for various reasons, this engine does not output enough power to the outside. A similar situation actually occurred in 2015. With the world entered the mobile internet era, Google, the world's largest searching engine company, announced the restructuring of its organization and established of its parent company Alphabet. 
After the reorganization, Google is the largest wholly owned subsidiary of Alphabet, containing core internet businesses such as searching and advertising. In addition, Alphabet also has independent subsidiaries such as uh, Wemo, very famous self-driving business, Verily, biotechnology business, DeepMind, artificial intelligence, and Nest Smart Home. Similar to Ali today, these subsidiaries also operate relatively independently and their annual plans are made by their respective CEOs and teams. Larry Page judged at the time that such an arrangement would increase the focus on core principle businesses while providing greater independence and transparency for high-risk investment projects. Now, it seems that this restructuring action has indeed stabilized the effort best main business and also suits the requirements of innovative business exploration in the mobile internet area. Such as Waymo has become the highest valued self-driving company in the world and DeepMind, Nest and the other subsidiaries has also risen to fame since then. For today's Ali, independent businesses such as Tanyo and Cloud Intelligence have a larger business scale and room for development than most of Alphabet's subsidiaries. As for whether these companies can develop smoothly later, it depends not only on whether the business team can fight, but also on whether the whole social and economic environment is patient and tolerant enough for the innovation and the change of large enterprises. Here we look again at some of the actions of early change. I will divide it into following areas. The purpose of Ali's high-level organizational change, the sequence of independent IPO as well as their performance and perspectives. The purpose of Ali's top-level organizational change can be like this. We took the initiative to implement organizational change to give the business greater independence to enhance its competitiveness, meet the continuously changing needs of different customers and capture new market opportunities. However, from my perspective, on the one hand, it is to unite the business, lighten the load, shorten the decision-making chain, avoid a big company disease, and inject the vitality of a startup into its own body. China's internet industry has created a huge amount of wealth masses. As one of the leaders of Alice to let thousands of employees achieve financial freedom. But time has changed. With the help of modern capital markets, splitting up the businesses, calling for them independently, and listing them independently is arguably the best choice in the current environment. This reform will not only motivate the employees of Alice for Rice business, but also have a certain catfish effect on the industry as a well. whole. You know, the Chinese internet industry has not produced new unicorns and there are few high-growth companies come out, which will give the industry a sense of uh, ambiguity. If early spin-off can produce good results, it may serve as a benchmark case, triggering a wave of relaunching, and the impact will undoubtedly be beneficial. Another important information you have to know, sequence of projects for independent IBOs. In terms of the specific pace of spin-offs, Alex's strategy is to list one at a time when it is right. The Huma Group is expected to go public in 6 or 12 months. Tanyao Group is expected to go public in 12 to 18 months. The Cloud Intelligence Group will be completely spun off and listed in the next 12 months by distributing dividends to shareholders. And the Overseas Digital Business Group will also explore starting external financing. And among them, Ali Cloud with long histories and quite mutual business I think will be the first segment to independently listing. Because we know 20 years ago, e commerce platform represented the advanced productivity of the internet. 20 years later, the cloud intelligence business based on the cloud computing has taken over the button, representing the advanced productivity. 
At this moment in Ali's business system, the domestic commerce business plays more a、uh, cash cow and ballast role. So it remains within the group and does not seek to go bubble independently. Ali Cloud Intelligence plays a role of explorer and pioneer. Generative AI is next five to ten years of global technology industry soldiers fight. Ali Cloud has released the Tongyi Tianyan Big Model, but This is only the first step of the long march. OpenAI is successful because it is supported by Microsoft's resources, while maintaining an independent and flexible organizational mechanism, which is a statement Ali Cloud Intelligence is seeking. Ali Cloud has a huge business and custom base in overseas market, especially in Southeast Asia. An independent spin-off would give it more flexibility to develop its overseas business. I believe the majority of investors can understand the importance of this. Now let's return to look the Hema Group, another very big segment of Alibaba. It achieved revenue growth and significant narrowing of losses during the period. Which drove early China's retail commercial segment to record a 6% year-on-year revenue growth of 274.9 billion yuan and adjusted EBITDA profit of 184.8 billion yuan. Tanya Group had a revenue of 55 billion yuan in the previous fiscal year, up 21% year-on-year. Now let's we make a conclusion, our verdict. Painful bottoming phase is a near term, but a change is imminent.